This boy is getting his first taste of the ocean, but a tsunami decides to join the party. Thank the stars for Bram, dad's ride or die. He scoops up the kid and starts hauling, but seriously, who thinks they can outrun a tsunami on foot? The man struggles in the sea. Finally, he manages to pop up, but the kid's vanished. He's yelling the kid's name. The boy is clutching onto a pole. Bran swims over, but the waves are playing hard to get. Right when they're about to tag team. The man grabs a piece of driftwood and barely puts on the brakes. But now, the kid's grip gives out. It looks like he's about to ride the wave. Without a second thought, the man takes a dive. This time, he's holding onto that kid. It's his best bud's kid. If things went sideways, he's got zero clue how he'd face his friend. The woman's leg is stuck in the hole. Simultaneously, a large bus approached. Firefighters quickly positioned themselves in front of the vehicle. Other team members rushed over too. Despite the efforts of two firefighters, they were unable to pull the woman's leg free. The asphalt even scratched her thigh. The firefighters had no choice but to carefully dig her leg out bit by bit. The team medic quietly warned, if not handled properly, the woman might lose her entire leg. Did you just say lose my leg? Is that true? The woman's emotions were gradually spiraling out of control. Why did all the misfortunes have to happen in one day? It turns out, her best friend is moving away, but she has already fallen in love with her. Just then, the best friend arrives. The woman finally pours out her feelings. More than just friend feelings and... Unexpectedly, the best friend kissed her directly. It turns out, she harbored the same feelings. With the support of her girlfriend, the woman's leg was finally pulled free. Do you still dare to look at your phone while walking? The kid is bouncing on the trampoline. Out of the blue. 911, what's your emergency? 911 rolls up. Captain Cool discovers the lady's hand and waist, doing a tango with the trampoline springs. She's frozen, not daring to twitch a muscle. The guy asks can she wiggle those fingers. Turns out, she's got finger freedom. Trampoline missed the nerve memo. Even the spring on her backside didn't pull a ninja move on her spine. Lucky break. Next up, the firefighters whip out a chainsaw. They chop the whole darn door off, lady included, and whisk her away to the hospital. At the hospital, the son hands her the phone and spills the beans. She's been accidentally live streaming this trampoline circus. Instant 1 million followers. The lady's pumped, telling her son, we're hitting the jackpot. The blackie simply had a cookie, but got pulled over by the police. Especially when they saw the Audi he was driving, the cops tightened their grip on their holstered guns. All this, just because the man is black. Even with all the proper documentation, the cops insisted he step out of the car, claiming suspicion of forged ID card. The man tried to explain but was immediately pressed against the hood. His daughter, witnessing the scene, quickly opened her phone to record, ignoring her father's warnings and getting out of the car. The father urged his daughter to get back in the car, but the officer tried to snatch her phone. At that moment, the little son in the back seat woke up. Seeing the police pointing a gun at his son, the father, unable to control himself. Don't shoot my son! Don't you shoot my son! The man then explained his wife is also a police officer, and not just any officer but a police inspector. He revealed his wife's badge number. Suddenly, the atmosphere changed, realizing they had tangled with a high-ranking official. The cops hastily returned the ID card, expressing misunderstanding, and hurriedly left the scene, leaving behind the father and his two children. Mom! Mother distances herself from her daughter. Later on, upon the arrival of firefighters, they find this pit plunging 40 meters deep, while the woman at the bottom still breathes, her entire body remains motionless. Despite this, her primary worry is her child's safety. Following an assessment, firefighters concluded the woman was bleeding severely, required immediate hospitalization. Nevertheless, the mother, hesitant to expose her child to the distressing scene, feared creating a lasting impact. So the captain handed the walkie-talkie to the child, enabling them to communicate with their mother. Upon hearing her daughter's voice, the mother finally broke into a smile. I'm always with you. So whenever you feel sad or alone, just reach for each other. And that's when you'll feel me with you and remember that I love you. Do you love your mom? The old lady finds herself wedged in the wall due to her generously sized breast. She pledges the immediate priority upon her release will be to opt for breast reduction surgery. The hot girl has been stuck for a full 24 hours. 
her breath diminishes gradually, despite the firefighters exerting maximum force. In their attempts to pull her free, the proximity of the wall renders their efforts futile. The woman's complexion deteriorates, prompting firefighters to suspect compression injuries, cautioning her against movement. They guide her to grasp her fingers, diverting her attention. However, the lady is already short of breath. Under the guidance of the firefighters, she took advantage of the moment. Placing tools into the crevice, she directed her teammates to promptly apply lubricant. Subsequently, with a determined exertion, she successfully extracted the woman. Is this an ad for lubricant? Infant slowly descends into the water, on the verge of drowning. Fortunately, the woman suddenly woke up, lifted the baby from the water. Even though the doctor assured the baby was fine, the mother still felt a deep sense of guilt, took the child to the fire station. Not now, I mean, maybe. I know that you're gonna take really good care of her, and she's better off without me. The firefighter husband, upon watching the video, teared up. Meanwhile, his wife arrived at the seaside. Since giving birth, the wife had been raising the child on her own. Overwhelming pressure left her breathless, longing to end the pain with death. A few days later, the woman woke up, in order to undergo treatment, moved back to the hospital in her hometown. After recovery, she returned home once again. By this time, her husband had learned the art of parenting, pledging never to let her bear the burden alone again. Have you ever experienced overwhelming stress? At the zoo, a dude throws a rock at a tiger, not satisfied, aims for a second shot at its head. A hot girl steps in to shut down this lousy behavior. The guy, beat red, makes a quick exit with his two sidekicks, but, mid-bathroom break, shouts outside beckon him back, sniffing out chaos, he rushes out. What happened? He only hears the tiger's low growls getting closer, he spins around, there's the same fierce beast he'd teased earlier, looks like the punchline is payback, spotting this. The guy dials emergency services in a sitcom-worthy panic. Paramedics advise him to chill, but he brushes them off, spins on his heels, and makes a run for it. He hops over the fence, thinking he's got the last laugh, but tigers aren't stand-up fans. In a flash, the tiger leaps into the iron cage. When the firefighters hit the zoo, all they catch is the tiger having a stand-up feast on the guys. Do you think this is the punchline of karma? The old man picks up a turtle, but under the ice, there's a boy's face. On closer inspection, the boy's eyes open. Just a moment ago, the boy was playing on the ice. When it unexpectedly cracked, he fell in. Struggling, a turtle crawls over, blocking his last hope. Luckily, a passerby notices, sees the boy in the water. Firefighters arrive, tearing a bedsheet into strips for a makeshift rope. Slowly, with the help of the sheet, the dude approached the boy, chipping away at the ice. But just as he is about to pull the boy up, the ice cracks again and both fall in. In this critical moment, the bedsheet plays a crucial role, pulling both to safety. No the dude is dying, but the emergency call he made in his final moments was intentionally hung up on. Two police officers look puzzled. Originally, the two came to eat, but the restaurant is empty with half-eaten meals on the tables. The police holding guns go to the kitchen, and find the barely conscious owner. He's been shot in the left chest, lying on the ground. The woman provides first aid. The dude regains consciousness. Turned out, he encountered a robber, but the call he made was hung up. To everyone's surprise, the one who hung up the call was Lily, a senior operator at the 911 emergency center. She has been working here for over 10 years, being the most efficient and fastest operator in the entire police department. However, it was her who maliciously hung up on thousands of emergency calls. Soon, the police arrested her and investigated. Eight months ago, Lily divorced her husband, unable to cope with the emotional blow. She vented her emotions at work. Soon, Leah was dismissed from the police department. Do you think this woman should be forgiven?